If you are struggling with anxiety right now and you are having a bad day, you're having a rough day with your anxiety attacks or panic attacks or your symptoms or your negative thoughts or your intrusive thoughts, whatever the case may be with your particular issues with anxiety, you're welcome here with me right now to just kind of sit down and try to talk some of this out. I just wanna try to make your day a little bit better to help you get out of this funk and just sit here and talk with me for a little bit. Let's, let's do a little bit of grounding and let's try to be a little bit more rational. Let's try to look at the positives in this situation. And I know what it's like to be so deep into this, especially when in, in panic attacks. It's so difficult to be rational. It's so difficult to have hope. It's so difficult to see the positives in anything. It's so difficult to be thankful but we have to try. And I'm here with you today, and we're gonna get through this. If you're having really, really scary symptoms today, if you're having a panic attack, if you're having an anxiety attack, I just want you to know that you're going to survive today. You are gonna get through the next few minutes. You're gonna get through the next few hours. Every storm runs out of rain, and I know it sounds cheesy, but with this anxiety thing, it makes sense. It doesn't mean that we're not gonna keep having bad weather, right? It doesn't mean that we're not gonna have panic attacks anymore just because you're having one now and you run out of the rain. <laughs> Another storm can come and that's okay. The idea with recovery is that we just start having a, a few more good days mixed in and then we try to build off that and get a lot of sunny days. Adversity won't stop and you know right now you're going to still go through struggles and you have to be okay with that but know that you're going to survive this. You always do. It's never a heart attack. You never die. <laughs> You know, how many times have you gone through this? You wake up every day with air in your lungs, with opportunity, with life. So just be thankful, be thankful. Every day you wake up with air in your lungs, it's another day that you survived those heart attacks, right? So if you're having an anxiety attack, if you're having a panic attack, if you're having the chest pains and you've already done everything that you can do and you've been safe and you've gotten the testing, you've talked to your doctors. It's hard to be rational, but we have to try to accept. It's hard. I get it. I struggled with that. But you are going to survive today. Tomorrow, I'll see you again. <laughs> but you're going to survive. You're going to get through. You always do. Every freaking time that you have thought that you're going to die or that you're going to have a heart attack, it never comes to fruition. And some of you have been having these episodes for years. In the beginning for me, I thought I was having a heart attack pretty much every day. So just understand it is hard for you to be rational and to kind of break this down like I'm breaking it down for you right now because you're really, really anxious. But just try to listen to me, right? Try to be more reasonable. Try to be more rational. For some of you, you're already starting to calm down. <laughs> For some of you, some of your chest pain is already starting to melt away just because we're talking. You see what I'm talking about? Things will get better. You will survive. And what we have to do with this is we have to take what happens today, right? And when you wake up tomorrow, the next time you feel this way and the next time you have a rough day, we reflect on the fact that we've gotten through this every time. And all the evidence is in our favor that we're gonna get through it again if we have another storm that comes our way. We have to learn from our past. So when we have rough moments like this, we can say, hey, I've been checked out. I've been told that I'm healthy. I get through these, these panic attacks, these anxiety attacks every freaking time. And I get it, it's hard to think that way when it's not been natural for us, but we have to get our foot in the door somewhere and we have to start trying. Learn from your past rough days so whenever you have a rough day today, <laughs> you're more prepared. You're more prepared. So how are we feeling right now? I know some of you are probably relaxing, some of you are feeling better, some of you are probably still anxious, obviously. Some of you are in the midst of, a, of an anxiety attack and a panic attack. I just want you to try to focus on what I'm saying to you. Listen to me. Don't listen to the symptoms. Don't listen to the negative thoughts in your head. Listen to me. Let's slow things down. 
Let's ground. I want to shift focus right now in this conversation to something called gratitude, and I get it. It can be an eye roller for a lot of us. Like, yeah, be thankful, be thankful. I have anxiety, man. Why am I supposed to be thankful? We tend to just focus on all the bad things that we have going on in our life instead of focusing on so many blessings that we have. Now I want you to hear me out. There have been probably quite a few blessings in disguise already with those of you that are struggling with your anxiety, your panic attacks, your health anxiety. Some of you are making amazing changes. So even though you're having a horrible day, even though you're having panic right now, even though you're having symptoms, what if we could start thinking about the great changes that we've made in our life? The great changes that we've made in our life. Because to recover from anxiety, we have to make a lot of lifestyle changes. Some of you are eating a lot better than what you used to. Some of you are exercising harder than you've ever exercised and you're getting in shape. Some of you quit smoking. Some of you quit drug use. Some of you quit alcohol. Some of you are learning the importance of patience, which is required for your recovery. Some of you are more grateful and show gratitude than you used to, especially for the good moments, the good days, which are gonna come to you again. This day will pass. Some of you are realizing the importance of self-love. You're realizing how much you need the people in your life that you, you've had for years, but you probably took them for granted. You're realizing the importance of being present and how precious this life is, especially if you have health anxiety and you're worried about losing your life all the time. You now have this new, you know, this new appreciation for life itself. Some of you are, are practicing mindfulness. Some of you are journaling. Just think about all the changes that you're making in your life to help you with your anxiety that are gonna carry on for the rest of your life. The changes that are required, those are blessings. And I know that it's so easy to focus on today and why is today so crappy and why am I having these symptoms and we tend to just forget about all the things that we've accomplished up to this point. For so many of you, you are in a better place today, even though it's a rough day, than you were months ago or weeks ago or years ago. That's progress. You are moving forward. I want you to remember, anxiety doesn't just look like this on a graph. You know, the same chunk every single day. I get 5% better every day. You're going to have some explosive growth. You're going to plateau a little bit. Sometimes you're going to dip like today, having a rough day. But then tomorrow could be even better than what it was yesterday when things seem good. And for a lot of you, it will be, as long as you're still doing the things that you need to do. So just understand recovery, it, it takes time. The idea is when you have a rough day like today, it could be precious if you learn from it. What did I do? What led me to this? You know, how did I respond? Did I get myself, you know, back on my feet? You know, did I do something great for myself that day, even though it was rough and it was hard and it was painful and I was scared? Did I still stick with my routine? You have to learn from days like these. And some days our subconscious is just, it's upset and it just wants to still throw a fit and let you know I'm still not healed. So there's some of you watching where you weren't even consciously anxious today or triggered and you just dealt with some symptoms or you had a panic attack out of nowhere. I want you guys to start changing your perspective on days like this and start to view them as opportunities because obviously not every day with your anxiety is gonna be sunshine and rainbows. You're gonna have rough days. How do we handle days like today? How do we handle days like today? So. Something that I want you to do when this video ends, I want you to do something good for yourself today. Do something good for yourself today. I don't care if it's reading a book. I don't care if it's taking a walk, cooking a healthy meal, spending time with your wife, with your kids. For some of you, you're gonna need something more aggressive. Maybe it's that cold shower. Maybe it's a, a, a brisk run, you know what I mean? Maybe it's a, an, an ex exposure experiment. Do something good for you today. Don't let the whole day turn into, you know, a storm. Let's try to clear some of it out. You still have a decision right now. You still have a choice right now to do something that's good for your mental health. 
I named a bunch of things there. Get out your journal and journal about it. Write down a game plan for tomorrow to start the day off better. You know, do two or three good things for yourself before you go to sleep tonight. Read through your affirmations. For those of you that are religious, do some praying tonight. Do something good for yourself today. I urge you to not stay in your little bubble. We're still miserable in there. So get off the couch. Get out of bed. When you're done watching this video, go do something for yourself. Don't just sit on here all day. Stop scrolling through Facebook all day and Instagram all day. That's not good for your mental health. Use the time that you spend on all these other things and do something for you. Do something for you. Let's, let's take grounding to the next level. Let's go down below in the comment section and in all caps, I want you to type up, rough days are opportunities. Rough days are opportunities. You're gonna grow more on a day like today than you do on a good day. Think about that. You are gonna grow more today by making the right decisions and getting off the couch and getting out of bed and getting off your phone and doing something for yourself. You're gonna learn more and grow more today. We have to fail to be successful. We just have to learn from the failures. Okay, learn from today. I wouldn't even call today a failure, but I'm just trying to give you an example. Good things come out of rough moments. We just have to learn from things. Take something from today, learn something from today, whether it be how it started or how you got yourself out of it and apply it when you have another storm that comes your way. But things are gonna get better, I promise. You're gonna live, you're gonna wake up again tomorrow and you're gonna have another beautiful opportunity to make the most out of it. Guys, I love you so much and I hope this video helped you out. If you want more help, there's a lot more help down in my description and my first pin comment. A lot of things down there from therapy um, to my recovery course, Elite Anxiety Bootcamp. Be a part of that if you haven't. It's, it's changing lives. If you need the structure, if you need the guidance, if you need a step-by-step -step blueprint, check that out. If you want to have personal phone calls with me about your anxiety, I can send you that information. My email is down below as well for that. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. Please like this video if you got any value out of it. Let me know down below if this helped calm you down at all. Let me know. And guys, do yourself a favor and save this video so you can come back to it again. Save this video, save this link, put it in the folder, add it to your favorites. Save it so you can come back, so you can remind yourself that a rough day is an opportunity. Sometimes we just have to be reminded of these things. We gotta be reminded sometimes. But I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you are new. Tons of videos like this to help you out. And I will talk to you soon. All right.